Hello guys and welcome back to Jess Graphic Design. It's been a while and I hope you all have been doing absolutely great. So today I'm going to show you guys how to design a professional real estate flyer design. Alright, so without further ado, let's get to the point. As usual, I'm going to maintain this background. I'm going to maintain the image size and then I will change the background color to black for the main time. And then I'll come over to shapes and I'll pick a shape. So I'll increase this radius to around 15. So I'll have the edges to be called and they call edges. So I'm going to increase this, squeeze it a bit, right? Okay, from here I'll rotate this and then let's rotate it more. Then I'll create a space around here. Right, let me increase this more. I think this should be this should be great, right? So next, I'm going to still I'm going to lock this, and then I'll pick the same shape, radius 15, 15, and then I'll rotate this. Okay, bring it over here. Now keep it this way. I'll import and I'll just copy this and I'll bring it over here. Okay. I think this is great. From here I'll go to my shadow. I'm gonna enable the shadow. Level this and I will reduce the opacity of the shadow. Okay, I'll do the same to this one. Opacity, sorry, shadow. And then I'll reduce the opacity. So I'll pick this this same opacity I used for the first shape. Alright. So let me check the angle to make sure the the slant angles are the same so this is at 51 degrees and this is at 51 degrees here but i'm block this as well and then i'll pick another shape i'll make this to be 15 as well so i'm just using this same radius for all of them 15 okay so i'm going to rotate this on and um I'm gonna rotate this so it will be this way. Okay. Let me make the angle 15 degrees, 51 degrees as well. Alright, I think that it should be just perfect. So my aim here is to make um, the slant edges to be equal with this one. And I believe they are kind of equal now. All right guys, so from here, what I'm going to do next is to put the pictures of the homes, bedrooms, and um, you know, the real estate. Okay, I'll go back to the first layer and then I'll ha we have to merge a shape to it so I can, so my pictures can be straight. So I can get a custom shape. Without doing this, if I'm to merge a shape to it, the shape will be slant. Okay, I'll show you guys an example when trying to merge the second um the second shape so i'm going to be using this one okay i'll just increase it and this is just nice okay
the next i'll take this to the back i'm gonna take it to the back long press and then i'll shift it all right and then this one all right so guys this one if i'm to max this if i'm to put texture on this directly let me use this for an example my picture is going to be slants reason because um the shape was initially a square a straight square and then i slant it myself so for me to get a straight a straight picture i need to make this um shape a custom shape in order for me to do that i will need to max sorry i will need to merge another shape to it so i can make this a custom shape before i match the shape i would like to remove the effects the shadows i added earlier so i'll go back to shadows and i'll remove this and to the second one shadows and i'll remove this and i think this okay this has no effect at all so i'm going to match a tiny shape to each of them so the first one i want to match this so this and then the second one, I'm going to merge this to this one, to this one, and then the last one. So this makes it um, a custom shape. So so once I put my it will just take the the alignment that I need it to have. So I'll just click on this first one, and then I'll head over to textures. I'll pick this. After I've done this, I'll go back to my shadows, and I'll enable this, and I'll still pick this level of depth and i'll go back to the next shape and then textures and pick a picture all right guys if you look at this you see that the size of this image is wider or is bigger than the default shape the default size of the shape where is it so i'm going to change this to the square shape of the frame we're trying to use i'll make sure i pick the right parts once and then i'll check this okay check All right I think this is better okay then so from here I will Come to the background and I'll choose white. Okay, so go to import my logo. This is a sample logo I'll be using for this design. Pick this. Okay. Okay. So I'll place this here somewhere around here. Okay, so I'll click on my third shape and I'll go to color and I'll choose gradients. Now pick this, check on this, and I'll pick the gradients. I'll just pick the dark parts. Okay. 
and then for this one I'll choose the light part of our logo let me make this a little bit darker and this one a little bit lighter okay still to another light Okay, so I think this is good to go. From here, I'll click on one of this and I'll go to go back to shadow and then I'll increase the offsets. So I need to be out a little. So minus one six and then I'll reduce this. Okay, I'll do the same here. Shadow minus one. And then six. The same in the depths. Okay. Now well, the next thing we are going to do now is to write out this so come over to tests so guys I'm going to write elegance right now elegance so change these fonts to to black so I'm gonna reduce this a bit To the next home, so this will be H. So I'm going to lay more emphasis on this section, I'll make it a little bit bigger than the others.
So I'll make sure this they are all aligned together to each other. The letter, the word above. So let me move this together, both of them. Elegant home. Um, okay. Reduce the small. I think seventeen should just be great. And then I'll make it a little bit bolder. So I'm going to use a lot of bold. Okay, this is too bold. Okay, medium. Yeah, I think this is just perfect. So I'll just need to space it out a little. Okay. And got home. So the hair should go with um, the red color. So let me choose this. And then the OME2, same color. Elegant home for sales. This is Copy the elegance for sale. So, guys, if you just joined us for the first time and you haven't subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I can make more awesome tutorials like this. Subscribing is absolutely free. And also, if you really learn that logic, also decide to give me super thanks just to support the growth of this channel. So I'm going to increase this for sale test and make it a little bit bolder than um, the elegant test. So this can be seen. All right, I think this is great and we just need to increase it a little I think 21 is perfect okay so make sure it's aligned at the center the center this is great so move it up a little Then the next thing is to copy this and then price tag price started So copy this one and then twenty thousand dollars. Can I can decide to make this color blue so it can just so much with everything I'm doing. So let's make this blue. Yeah. 
think this is great. Then the next thing is to to list the features I'm offering. Okay, so we can list them. Five bedroom flats. So I think this is all I'm just going to add for the meantime. Maybe why we need to make sure that all these are aligned. I'm going to use this to uh, do the measurements. As you can see, this is crossing the line. So I'm going to align all this together. And I think this is just perfect. It's perfect. So just need to lift this up a bit. And then I'll put the head there. Okay. So this should be property features. Sorry, property features. Okay. color and I'll change the font to the bold one so my logo make sure it's aligned so Other button. Order now or book now. Okay, Let me use book now. So guys, make sure this is at the center. Okay. From here, you can just decide to go to the website. Okay. www.yourwebsite.realestate.com website just come ok 
okay and i'll make this color white So from here you can save your work, click on files and then you save. So thank you guys for watching, like the video and subscribe to the channel and see you all in my next tutorial.